Well guys, we're just gonna roll right into another video. Okay, we are gonna do my kitchen drawers, um, or like my silverware drawer. It's one of those things where it just kinda ends up becoming like a junk drawer, like uh, extra straws and just little pieces for like water bottles and things like that. It's time to get rid of it and just to weed out the junk. So here's what I've got going so far. So I took everything out. <laughs> well, this is from the video I just did. Actually, I'm gonna set that off to the side, but. It's like all of these things were fitting into this drawer. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna vac, I've got my little portable vacuum. I'm gonna like weed it all out. I'm gonna get rid of this thing because I feel like it's just not actually that helpful. Actually, I find like the extra color and pattern and stuff is a bit clutter. Like it's just not aesthetically pleasing. And obviously, you know, there's dirt that's just natural, like seasonings and stuff like that. We're just gonna clean it out and get rid of it. All right, y'all, I have, I just took the little vacuum and just got everything organized in there um, or like cleaned up and I'm just going to get rid of all the schmutz because we all know how that goes, right? It's just like get rid of all of the random spots and just make it look nice again. That looks a lot better. Some extra things in here like some party shenanigans so I'm actually gonna make a pile and put these in like my part um like my party gathering cake making all that kind of stuff I'm gonna put that in a little space there and yeah I need to go through all of these and like you know like when you get antibiotics you always get these extra things and it all just builds up in a ton of clutter so let's get her done guys I just gave my silverware drawer a clean out give it a wipe um, eventually I would like to get some like wooden, um, types of holders and organizers for these drawers, but we are going to be moving house here in a few months. And so when we get into our new place, I will probably, um, go the extra mile for those. But for right now, we're just using an old camping one and it works fine. It's tucked away and that's all that matters. It keeps the organization alive, right? So, all right, let's put everything back in here. All right, and now is where it gets all tricky. So we, like I said before, we grill a lot. So, you know, we got some skewers. Um, there's some things like for some tea, loose leaf tea. I actually don't really buy loose leaf tea anymore. So I might donate that. And here we go. put that up with the baking stuff. Sorry, a little bit of cluttering, cluttery shenanigans going on here. So we got a lot of serving spoons, uh, you know, metal, um, straws, things like that. So I'm definitely going to go through this and weed these out as well. So look, we got like some more piping <laughs> things going on. And we've got like some tiny teaspoons and we actually don't use those much either. I think they actually came with a, like a tea cup set that we were given. So I think those are going to go in the donation pile too. These are good clean. We can start filling them up and getting back in the drawer. Actually, um, the Dollar Tree is a fantastic place to get little organizers like this. They come in different colors, sizes, and shapes. And most of the time, you can get three different organize or three organizers for a dollar. So it's a total money saver and um, a great option um, for saving some money on organizing. So tip for the wise. I swear there's definitely something about organizing that I love. I feel like there's such aesthetics to it. I feel like it brings a peace and a calm and I feel like sometimes it just allows you to breathe. So like instead of opening up a drawer and just seeing total chaos, you can just see everything having a nice space and a place to be and um, I like that you can just see everything. You can find everything. And that's, there's just a great piece about that right there. So, actually, you know what? These little cheese knives, I don't know. We use them now and again for like um, holidays and stuff. And same thing with this little guy here. So, I think I will keep those around. But anyway, so yes. So, that is what's happening with that there. I think like there's just something about an orc organization and everything doesn't with organization it doesn't have to be over the top but at least like it kind of just brings something nice to your home it brings something you know nice for your um 
just the atmosphere and the environment that you are residing in. And there's definitely something to be said for bringing um, a calm for your state of mind <laughs> or the cat. <laughs> and um, there's just a lot to be said for that. And it, and it doesn't mean that you have to keep your house spotless all the time or completely organized all the time or this and that, because that's not true life, right? Like, like there are times where it's going to be clutter because you are busy or you are running out the door and you just need to set something down where it doesn't typically go and everywhere else because that's life. But, um, it is just nice when you just have a moment and you can get everything together and make it look really special. All right, guys, it is finished. Everything looks a bit more clean, more organized. Got rid of a lot of random things that just didn't belong in here. Um, I think I am going to go back to the Dollar Tree and see if I can find some longer ones to house these um, stainless steel straws and just to house the things that are just a bit more, um, well, that just, that just needs something to be fitted with. So. But yeah, I think that's a lot nicer. I think you can find things a lot easier and it is just more appealing to the eye. Thanks again, guys, for watching and coming with me on decluttering my house because I know how this goes. It happens all the time. And I think every now and again, we just need to weed through the clutter, go through it all, find all the shenanigans that are in there, all the random things and send them on their way or find them a place. So, all right. Thanks so much again for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.